It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Nickelodeon Universe. Starting off at number 10, we're going to be joining SpongeBob SquarePants on the hunt for some jellyfish with SpongeBob's Jellyfish Jam. This attraction may look a little bit fishy, but it is your classic swing ride where guests of all age have enjoyed swinging alongside the jellyfish since its opening year of 2019. However, this ride is very common around theme parks, so we would recommend going on the more unique attractions first. But if you get the opportunity to ride, you will sure have a whale of a time. Hola mi amigos and welcome to our number 9 spot, Dora's Sky Railway. Themed towards one of my childhood TV shows, Dora the Explorer, you can explore Nickelodeon Universe from the sky with Boots, Dora and to be honest, I can't remember anyone else. Nevertheless, over here on Theme Park Coasting, we highly recommend doing this ride near the start of the day as it gives you a perfect opportunity to see what rides and attractions you want to do throughout the day and the ones you don't want to do so much. Not that I'm scared of any rides or anything. For our number 8 spot, we have got Angler's Air Gliders and get your sick bags ready guys as this ride makes you pretty dizzy. Like SpongeBob's Jellyfish Jam, these types of rides are very common and I know after riding a fair few of these that they are not for the faint of hearted. The way that they work is you sit on the plane and on that arm that spins 360 degrees vertically. That is also attached to another part of the ride which spins 360 degrees horizontally which consistently goes round for the 2 minute duration of the ride, making the ride one of the scariest attractions at the park, especially on those hang time moments if you know what I mean. It is time for one of our first roller coasters on the list and coming in at number 7 is Nickelodeon Slime Streak where if you are chosen to slip aboard, you will be in for a very fun family coaster. After the initial 55 feet climb to the height of 70 feet, there are a few airtime hills and bank turns bring you back towards the station. So in a nutshell, it kind of is like a mini hyper coaster. With there being no loops or intense elements as well, we think that both kids as well as adults can enjoy this ride and it is a perfect build up attraction for anyone looking to do shell raiser in the future. If you are scared of heights, skip to number 5 as for our number 6 spot Skyline Scream will well make you scream from the sky. Standing at 125 feet tall, don't get me wrong this isn't one of the tallest drop towers in the world but the reason why it is at number 6 is that unlike your normal drop towers where you just rise up and drop, on Skyline Scream you shoot up, drop, shoot up, drop and so on, all while spinning providing a lot of airtime as well as some stunning views of the surrounding area from above. Top 5 Woo, woo. And for this spot, we have got Krang Prime Pandemonium. This indoor pendulum ride may look calm off ride, but don't be fooled as once boarded, you will quickly realise that you have a fun but also very intense experience ahead. Rocking back and forth on an axis as well as the arm that spins 360 degrees creates a very intense experience for any riders, whereas on a giant pendulum you will normally go quite slowly upside down, this attraction literally pulls you upside down holding you against your seat and making it a must do ride at the park. At number 4 if you wish for fairy godparents Timmy's half pipe havoc then it is granted as this attraction is not only very unique and crazy however also a ride which every time I have been on I have absolutely loved it. Now I think just looking at this ride it is self explanatory but basically what you do is you shoot back 
and forwards raising you up to over 90 degree angles at the same time as spinning on one of the two spinning circles. For the best experience we recommend filling up the 12 seats on the ride as it causes you to spin a lot more. Also for a little bit more fun you can face each other on the opposite spinning circles just for some fun encounters in the meantime and get this so called cred ticked off. Here we enter the top 3 ride list and coming in at number 3 is the Shredder. And no, this is not a Shreddies themed ride, but a Gerslauer spinning coaster themed towards the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain. Wrapping around the Shell Razor, this ride is often underlooked, but with some awesome custom layouts and consisting of some pretty crazy turns and drop causing your cars to spin an awful lot. This is one of my favourite rides to go on with the family. Also with the seats facing each other if you are in a group of two it can be quite awkward but if you are in a group of four or more it can be very funny watching those scared faces. Between number two and number one it was very tough but taking the number two position is Sandy's Blasting Bronco and since its opening back in 2020 this has always been a fan favourite. To start off with you are launched forward at a speed of 47.8 miles per hour into two immunums as well as a rollover but the good part doesn't start until you are back in the station. Sounds weird right? But this is where it gets cool as your car suddenly stops and then you realise the station is a turntable and then you do the whole ride backwards. For me this aspect of the ride makes it a must do and a trip to Nickelodeon Universe is not complete without a ride on this attraction. It is time for the number one spot and for this spot we have chosen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shell Razor and for an indoor theme park this ride is bonkers with the world's steepest drop of 121.5 degrees from the second you get out of the station you will be holding on tight. On top of this there is also an LSM launch of 62 miles per hour in only 2 seconds, a vertical lift tilt of 141 feet, a banana roll, mm, dive loop, top hat, imminimum as well as 2 corkscrews all within the 3 minute ride duration. If all of this doesn't make you want to ride then I don't know what will. Well maybe the amazing views or the fact that this attraction always has a short queue. Without a doubt this ride needs to be on your bucket list and on your next visit become a Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtle and give Shell Razor a go. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasted and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.